It was about 30 years ago. Billy was hiding out in an abandoned farm near Stinkin' Springs. I threw in with the kid because the man I had sworn vengeance on was riding with Billy's enemies. But before I tell you why I want that son of a bitch dead, let me tell you what happened that day. I was heading back to the hideout when suddenly I had this funny feeling. Funny, haha? -ha. No, Steve. The other kind of funny. I knew those two morons would never let me through. I had no choice. Help! Shoot that some bitch! Was it Pat Garrett's posse? Oh yeah. I heard the shots and I knew I had to move fast. Garrett and his army of deputies had surrounded the entire homestead. decided to help Billy and the boys out a bit. So that's just what I did. As the governor of New Mexico campaigned for the kids' apprehension, Garrett was able to hire every gun hand in Lincoln County.
running around like a bunch of chickens with their heads cut off. Luckily, these shooters Garrett hired weren't the sharpest tools in the shed. A lot of them were saddle tramps or sod busters or drunken drifters looking to make a few bucks. Friendly voice yelling at me from the window. Back door! We'll cover you! Truth be told, things weren't much better behind the house. Watch your place! Cut their numbers in half, but that just made the ones that were left twice as mad. their lack of skill with a seemingly endless supply of ammo. It was a bit of a slog, but I finally fought my way around the back of the house. And like that, You'll I was inside, dead, none the worse for wear. I passed Dirty Dave. Get him in a red 
Martin. And upstairs, I found Billy and Charlie Baldry. Billy looked at me and said, About time, amigo! Grab a gun and get to the window! But wait, so you were friends with Billy the Kid? Yeah, sort of. Anyway, we were surrounded by dozens of deputized shooters who wanted to do us harm. Telling you Garrett's men were dropping like flies, but they just kept on coming. That's when Charlie got hit. They're catching us in a crossfire, shouted Billy. Get to the other side! Suckers I personally put down. It was pretty clear, even to Billy, that maybe discretion was the better part of valor. What's that mean? It means that it was time to cut and run. They got a gallon, Billy shouted. Get the horses and bring them round back. I'll draw their attention. He directed that order at me, and I thought, why the hell do I have to do it? But I went anyway. Dumbass that I was back then. Jack here. What are you saying, old man? Jack is just joshing with you. Yeah, he better be. Mr. Graves, please continue. Please, call me Silas, ma'am. Now, uh, where was I? Heading for the barn. Gonna cut you, boy. Oh. Right. Making my way past the castle of fallen foes. Regiment of hired guns.
Yeah, and just when I thought I was done with them, more of these hapless bastards would pop up. <laughs> Finally, I had the stables within my reach. After the fight, maybe we could treat ourselves to some fried chicken. That's when I met Sheriff Pat Garrett. I read that you went toe to toe with him, sir. That backstabbing bastard with that tacked on tin star. Showed it. You read that in a dime novel? It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake. Killed him in a fair fight. <laughs> Is that what that Penny Dreadful said? No, boy, that ain't what I meant when I said I met Pat Garrett. So let me start again. I finally reached those damn stables. <laughs> and stepped inside and BAM! <laughs> Last thing I heard was Garrett's voice. That's not Billy. And go on, how did it end? End? Boy, that was just the beginning. 